there is no doubt in my mind that this golf course right here is the best public golf course you can get your hands on in the Western North Carolina area. We are deep in the Smoky Mountains at Sequoia National. We played this course last year, right around at the exact same time that we're tackling it today. I can't wait. Let's get on to some perfectly average golf at Sequoia National Golf Club. Friends and family, I'm really pumped about this. Once again, we're tipping out the course here at Sequoia National. It's an absolutely perfect day today to be tackling and playing some more fall North Carolina golf. This course is unbelievable. You can find it on golf now. Sometimes you can find it for a pretty good deal. It otherwise will cost you a pretty penny to play. However, I still maintain that this is the best public golf course that you can jump out here and play right now without having to worry about it. All the other courses in this area are typically private. So if you're looking for some great mountain golf, you're in the area, you're traveling, you're looking to kind of explore North Carolina a little bit in the fall, come out and play Sequoia National. We'll be playing from the black tee box, the tips here at Sequoia National, which is 6,500 yards. And now that we're up on this first tee box, it is really windy out here today. So the conditions are gonna be a little bit tough. So taking it low might be a little bit more difficult than we're used to, but we'll see how they fly. First hole up is a par five dog leg to the right. You have to go straight down off an elevated tee box to get a safe shot and get a good second look in. Ooh, it's windy, let's go. I don't want to set the camera up super tall because of this wind, so I'll get, let you guys get a look at the fairway now. That's the landing space we're looking for, kind of just to the left of this tree that we're about to see here once the camera gets put down. Okay. Well, three wood, three wood to start. Got still a long way to get there so we're probably not gonna be able to reach it in two. If we do, that'd be a miracle. Well. Call it a layup. Not sure if that went long or not. straight okay getting used to the conditions the wind and all that we got a par three tucked behind some trees and stuff downhill it's 163 playing about 145 we're gonna take nine iron get a little extra no harm in being long here with this pin position and with the backdrop as well Ooh, even that's a little short be chipping to get up to the green from there. <laughs> hey, how about that up and down? This is the reason why I say this golf course is one of the most spectacular out there. Not only is the course extremely well manicured all the time, at least the times that I've played it, but the views are just unreal. That's just to that hole. You turn around, it's just 360 views all the time. This is by far the most spectacular golf course that you could play as a public golf course in Western North Carolina. So we've got hole number three coming up here. It is another par five dog looking to the right. Um, I think driver again is gonna be too much. We just gotta try to figure out what the wind is doing. Uh, we'll see, we'll pick a club and swing at it. I think we're sandy again. <laughs> Woo. Oh, mine's straight. Okay. But the sure is gonna break. All right, pretty solid after not really knowing where exactly that tee shot went, being able to find it and then be able to still be able to put ourselves in position to make par. 
It's always great news. We got to be 332 par four here. Wind is coming off the left and I can get driver pretty darn close. So we're going to try to go for it here. We're going to go right over this bunker you're about to see, hopefully with a nice big old draw. Yeah, we got the front edge and came back. It's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to see a lot with this camera angle, but uh, pins at the back position. <laughs> Gotta get it all the way back there. That should be pretty good. Goes left to right. <laughs> Considering the conditions, we're still playing some really solid golf so far. Flat stick feels so much better today if you're joining us from when we last played Maggie Valley. Uh, we got a par four, small dolly to the left, still elevated tee box. I just don't feel super confident about what driver's gonna do here, so we're gonna take three wood down towards the lone bunker in the fairway. Never mind, take a driver. This wind is real heavy. Oh, there's some space over there. We'll see, there is some space behind those trees, but I don't know how much. Got lucky, we found it. Got about 98 yards left. This green wants to go hard left to right. I want to keep it out of the wind, so I'm taking 54 back of my stance. Uh, short. Okay, chip it a putt. Slow down. Come back down that slope. Ooh, almost. Oh. <laughs> almost came in the side door. Still playing solid, par three for hole number six, playing about 177 to the pin. There's a lot of space behind this green and the wind is coming straight against, so we're gonna try to hit a little low off the back foot, six iron. Oh, it's so short. <laughs> that is so short. Oh, go. If that got it over the other side of that mountain, that was going to be really good. Nice. Okay, tapping for bogey, hopefully. <laughs> Hope you all out there having a beautiful day today. It is gorgeous. Really can't be upset at all. Even if we were to be playing like really bad golf today, it's just awesome. We've got some cigars burning, beautiful course, beautiful day. Hope you guys are having the same. Maybe not the cigars part, but if so, props to you. Hole seven's a part four, dog legging to the left. We got driver helping win for the first time, really <laughs> for the first time. So we got green light special to get this thing pretty darn close. Let's go at it. Actually, it could be challenging the green if it gets a good roll. We'll see. Also, just want to let you guys know we are really close to 1,000 subscribers. So the content's changed a little bit. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the snappier edits. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. It goes a long way to help me keep doing this. So please consider subbing if you have not done so already. The problem with the line that I took, it was close to green side, but it may have slipped into this stop. I just couldn't see it. So there's a red snake right here. We're gonna consider that to be hazard and we're gonna be hitting 58 degree, about 93 yards, heavy wind favoring though, uh, right here. That might be front green. Didn't catch that all that well. Slow down. Oh, I love it. Slow down. Ooh. Okay, so drop two, hit three, put four, put five, six. Yeah, it's too bad we lost that drive. I hit that really hard on a really solid line. I think it was just a little bit too left. Oh well. Uh, part three, coming up next, the flag is playing about 158, but it's downwind. We're gonna go club less, take pitching wedge. Let's see if we can get close. Just 
caught the top lip of the bunker. Had a lot of those today. I probably played out of more bunkers today than I have in the last like 12 rounds. <laughs> Hole number nine, par five. God, these, this is some of the windiest I've ever played in without question. Huge helping wind here, no excuse. This is a very short par five. We should be able to get birdie here pending we hit a good drive. Well, we need to start finding fairways because I thought that ball was gonna be fine, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. There's red stakes along this ridge, so once again, figuring that it just went in somewhere over here, we're gonna take a drop and hit three. Oh no. Hit and come back. What? Okay. I saw where it came in at. Nice. I mean, <laughs> Oh, it got too high in the air. Gosh, I almost landed it where I wanted to, though. Mm. Man. Gotta start finding fairways and greens again. By again, I mean for the first time. With rounds like this, with the wind blowing so heavy, I was telling my dad about this. Like, it's, I just, I'm in my head about what I need to do the ball. It's just causing us to do too much weird stuff. So let's just get back to the basics. One good drive, one good second shot, and we're in business again. All right, taking all the things we just said into this back nine, hole 10, 416 par four, split fairway situation where you gotta get to the deep side of the first one, and you still have a long shot up to an isolated green. It's a very difficult setup, but this fairway is pretty favorable as long as you're on the right side, which is where we're gonna go. Got driver. Nice, smooth little 10 yard draw, huh? Oh my God. Well, it's a fairway. Well, I guess we need to specify which fairways we're looking for. <laughs> we don't have a look at the green, unfortunately. It's too deep with the wind hurting. Taking an easy 50 degree, kind of just left of where that orange tree is. Oh no. It's in the fairway again. <laughs> that was just a bad mental focus shot right there. That's not good. Wow. <laughs> you know, the thing about it when you have rounds like this, you start to get in your head like I've been, and you just kind of start throwing it away. All we need is one good shot there to try to give ourselves a chance to get back in the action, and that was it right there. Played for the uphill lie to kind of bleed and go left. And that's putting and it probably is gonna be pretty close. Come on, come on! She's a beaut, that one. <laughs> also, she's a beaut. All of this is just I'm telling you, this is the most spectacular public golf course that you can play in Western North Carolina, maybe even North Carolina generally. Ah, as soon as it started to move. Damn, almost snuck away with one. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit our fairway this time. <laughs> really, again, I, I've said it a handful of times. I'm having a lot of fun out here. It's just a perfect day. You can't be mad about playing golf in a location like this. Part five, 541, driver, our fairway. Hold on. Yeah, on the line with that bunker. That's fine, that's fine. Felt real good. Line was a little right, we'll see. Oh, it's not enough high. It's a good idea. Oh, there's so much mud in that ball. <laughs> Why didn't I clean that? 
Okay, little by little, we're bringing it back. We got the last par five on the course for hole 12. Dog leg to the right a little bit, but it's all dead straight uphill. First shot against the wind. Need to keep this on the left side if humanly possible. Come on, we need driver here. We need it bad. About time. Got a fairway and a view. <laughs> well, the view will be behind us, but I want to make sure you guys could appreciate that. I don't know if we're able to get there in two. We'll try. It'll take a lot for us to get there, but we're still going to pull three wood, pull it up kind of where this big lone tree is. Bunker? Yeah? One last thing before we get into a couple of holes just where we're playing golf. I just, just go out and have fun guys. When you're playing courses that are like this, uh, for me, I, I, like you feel that pressure where you want to shoot well. You want to play well when you're playing a special course. But you have to remember, and I have to remind myself sometimes, just go out there and have some fun. I'm having a great time. I really hope you guys are enjoying the content. Again, if you have not subbed already, please consider it. It would go a long way. Let's see, see if we can get a birdie. <laughs> We'll be putting up the hill from there. Oh, it's gonna dive. Okay, we'll par to finish off the fives. All right, par, par, and now what I would say is probably the most beautiful tee shot on the course, right into the mountains, par three. It's back there today, that pin is deep. Uh, we're gonna play a six iron, nice strong one. Just trying to get over a little bit of a ridge, a spine in the green. Hopefully it kind of rolls back that pin a little bit. <laughs> 341 par four up the hill got three wood to start driver i don't think i can actually get over that bunker but we're gonna take three wood right towards it i don't want to take anything less than that because i want to get aggressive so that's the call might just play this the rest of the day Yeah, roll just short of the bunker. Great three wood, come on. That should work out. Huh. Ah, I knew it was gonna go down. Why did I not play it higher? Played it right in the middle. That's just a silly mistake. Might be out there thinking to yourself, man, there's been a lot of really gorgeous holes. What would be the signature hole here? Uh, this one? <laughs> Fairway's all the way down that way. There is a line over these trees to hit driver. I did it last time I was here, but there's people in front of us. So I don't want to risk trying to do that. We got six iron. This is going to be super cool. You're not going to see the ball land the fairway, but enjoy the view. course really shortens up a lot down here in this little valley really everything after that last par five par four next one up for 16 dog leg a little to the left 
Don't want anything more than about 220 yards, so we're taking a nice, easy four hybrid playing right in the middle of the fairway. what we want. Oh yeah, a little long came off the back, it's gonna be putting. Out of the last handful of rounds, there is nobody better out there to turn birdies into doubles like me on the green. <laughs> Par three, not gonna be able to see any of this because the sun is straight on in, uh, but it's playing deep 200s, uh, 205, 215 ish. We're gonna take four hybrid, try to play it right to the middle, hopefully, and uh, hopefully we walk up and it's on the, on the green and we can figure out this putter thing. <laughs> Yeah, it should bounce off that hill though. All right, didn't quite get it there. We're up here now and we're here feeling a real stiff wind, but it bounced down and we do have a shot. Tough screen, position, tough, really tough pin position here though. Kind of want to get it up in the air and let it sit soft, hopefully. Oh no, sit, fight, do something. Ah, off the back, chipping again. <laughs> okay, gotta make these. <laughs> okay, okay. Golly. 18. If 16 didn't make you say wow, not only is this a drivable par four from this elevated box, but as you start to turn around, it's just, oh. If these trees weren't here, you would literally have a 360 view of this Great Smoky Mountains. It's unbelievable. Wind is helping. I don't know if it's three-wood or driver today. <laughs> With as crazy as the wind is and how memorable this hole is, we're going to take three-wood first, driver second if it doesn't get there. But I think three-wood with this wind will have no problem getting there. <laughs> Wow, look at that thing snap. Wow, wow. Just didn't have it with the putter today. Didn't have it. Alright. Well, didn't have the best stuff with the driver or with the putter today. Got us to an 89, but again, I really wasn't going out today looking to shoot any particular type of score. Just looking to go out and have a little bit of fun. And this course is just... It's so special, man. It's by far one of the best public golf courses you can come out and play, whether you're looking to challenge your game. Very difficult at times with all the elevation changes. The greens are tough to read. And then more importantly, the conditions are immaculate and the views, you're not gonna find them anywhere else. Mark my words, there's nowhere else in Western North Carolina you're gonna find views like this. So I had a lot of fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the footage. And we got Bald Mountain still to play before we try to kind of wrap up most of this fall season. So stick around for it. Sub if you have not done so already. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. I had so much fun out here. Hope you guys did the same. And until next time, whether you're trying to break 100, 90, or 80, make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.